I attended an event at the University of Lisbon today. The event was organised by Professor David Hardesty and was attended by myself, Kevin Losner, and, and a couple of students from the university uh, and a translator who did a very good job of showing how studio can be used with speech-to-text technology, which, which was very nice, a very illuminating session. During the course of the day, Kevin Losner gave a really interesting speech about how important it is to use one cat tool for all of your translation work instead of hopping around between different cats. Because when you do that, you tend to lose your productivity gains. Because when you know how to use one, one tool really well, that's when you really translate it your best. So Kevin's talk was about how you would move files backwards and forwards between different tools. In, in, in particular, in this, in this discussion, how you would move fools, tools, for example, out of MemoQ and into Studio so you could translate them in Studio and go back again. And during the course of this discussion, we discussed how Studio, using the Open Exchange, has the capability to provide a lot of interoperability to make life easier for translators. And one of the things we looked at was a very important piece of functionality that we're going to make available through the Open Exchange for MemoQ users. So if you are a MemoQ user and you're finding that you're taking files out of um, SDLXLIF files out of SDL Trotter Studio to translate in MemoQ, after you've done the work, you generally need to go back into Studio just to make sure everything is okay. But because when MemoQ 2014 release 2 was released, what everybody realized was there was a significant piece of functionality that was omitted from this release. So to make it easier, and to improve the whole workflow in an interoperable solution. We've added this functionality into Studio specifically for MemoQ users. So let me just demonstrate what that is. I'm in the welcome view, or the home view, and if I click on the view, there's a little button here called Don't Push It. I'm sure by now if you're a MemoQ user, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't use MemoQ, allow me to demonstrate. I click on the button. I get the all-important sound and a message telling me I shouldn't have pushed that button. And when I click on OK, this will really tell you what it's all about. It's a piece of functionality brought to you by SDL in sympathy for any poor MemoQ user who has upgraded to 2014 Release 2 and you're missing your button. So when you're working on that interoperable process, you can rest assured that you can feel a whole lot better by using Studio for that work.